Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about the Pillow Talk Partay from Sherry Tilbury. I got sent this gorgeous press drop last week. Wait, wait, look. So many gorgeous products in here. So there is the Pillow Talk Beauty Light Wand, which I, have I tried that? I have tried that before, it's gorgeous. The Pillow Talk Colour Chameleon, which I'm really looking forward to trying. The Pillow Talk Mascara. Can't wait to give that a go. I'm probably gonna give that a go first. The Multi Glow. The uh, Dreams, Pillow Talk Dreams Luxury Palette, and then, and then the Pillow Talk Lip and Cheek Glow. Just gonna take everything out. It's just safer, it's easier. Oh, oh I didn't realise there was more stuff in here. Oh, they sent um, the Cheek to Cheek Palette, the Pillow Talk, what is this? Lip Luster. Oh, I don't think I've tried that. Pillow Talk Lipstick, is it? Yes. And then Pillow Talk Eyeliner. Yeah. Ooh, I didn't realise there was stuff underneath. There you go. <laughs> I've applied my foundation and my eyebrows already and I used the Beautiful Skin Foundation from Shara Tilbury. I'm shade 2 neutral. I think I have a full video on this if you want to go and have a look. I will leave it linked below. But what I want to do is try out the products, show them to you in action. And I want to start with the mascara because usually I would start when I'm doing like a makeup demo like this with eyeshadow, but I want to see what this mascara looks like on its own without any eyeshadow. We'll put the eyeshadow on after. So it has the same wand as the original Pillow Talk mascara. Look at the colour of it. So it's like a brownie burgundy. It's the Pillow Talk. So I want to see when it comes to coloured mascara, I want to see how this makes my eyes, because like my eyes are like a greeny, greeny blue. I want to see if it makes them pop. So it's just taken a while. This is a more like a lengthening mascara than it is voluminous or like thickening. I can't visibly see the tint on my lashes. Like it's quite subtle so it almost looks like I have a, like a brown mascara on but at the roots of the lashes where most of the product is there is that tiny hint of like a burgundy. It's very subtle. It's like I'm wearing a reddy brown mascara. Now in fairness I have hit my skin um, a few times here. Just whatever's left on the brush, I'm just going to do the upper lashes again before um, it gets too dry because I just, I find when your lashes are kind of tacky, it makes it easier to apply that second coat. The formula on that mascara is beautiful. That second coat makes such a difference. I can't see myself properly in the viewfinder so I can't tell if you can see it on camera, but in real life it looks nice and subtle. Does it make my eyes look greener? Not really, but the formula is spot on. I really like that. Okay, so let's do what we do. Actually, something that I really want to try. It's the um, lip and cheek glow. This is the packaging. Stunning. Love a cream blush. That's it there. Kind of looks washed out. Oh my God, I just think that is beautiful. I'm going to apply it with my fingers to see what it's like. Oh, it's nice and slippy. I really like shades like this that give you, it's like a, a neutral blush. God, that is such a gorgeous colour, just really natural because like you see how dark it looks in the pan but then on the cheeks it's really nice and sheer. I like that because you can build it up because as a cereal over blusher, um, so she has, she's applying more. <laughs> it's so easy to apply too much blush but with this it just, it's really nice and sheer. Now it is quite tacky. I'm just using a clean finger to go around the edges. I'm gonna see what this is like on the lips. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god, that is gorgeous. That feels so nice and slippy and comfortable on the lips. Oh, this is gonna be a summer favourite, I think. I'm gonna leave that on this cheek and then I'm gonna show you, I'm sure you've probably seen it already, but the powder blush version of this because, again, this is one of my favourite blushes ever. What I really like about this blush is that it has the blush on the outside, the shimmer on the inside, so you can either like, go around to get more pigment or kind of have like a mix. And it gives, I kind of like to do that and then I like dab it in the middle. I've applied too much. <laughs> Sorry, I just, I wanted to change the exposure on the camera just so you can see it properly. Too much blush, but you can see the pigment in there. Um, I'm going to take my sponge just to take down the edges. I don't know if you can see with this shade but the sheen that it gives just gives a really natural glow. Now something that I'm very excited to try is the Pillow Talk Multi Glow. Hold on, there. 
If you have a small enough brush, you can kind of pick the shades that you want to use or just give it an L swirly swirl. I think that's what I'm going to do. This brush is clean, it is just stained, so I'm kind of going to... Will I put it here? That is so stunning. So let's say if I didn't want like too much of the bronzer, I could just pick this much up or kind of focus on that side. Cause that just gives, it gives a really nice golden glow. I actually looked tormented that I've like so much blush on. And do you know what, you could use this on the eyes as well. Let me just swatch the four shades for you. There. So you could like mix them all together. I'm gonna show you on the other cheek the Pillow Talk Beauty Light Wand. Now I am a massive fan of the original Beauty Light Wand in Spotlight. I think it is probably the best highlight I've ever ever used. I've gone through so many tubes of it. That's a brand new sponge. Just be nice. So what you do is you twist it up, give it a little, give it a little squeezy squeeze. Oh that's too much. I'm just going to take a bit off on the back of my hand. Actually let me show you a swatch. Um, here. I'm just going to apply some here. A little bit goes a long way when it comes to these cream highlights. And I find that they apply better with my finger. I feel like you've got more control over it and you can spread it out that little bit more without losing the product, you know, without it being kind of taken up, taken up by the sponge or by your brush. So you can see in different light it can look quite champagne-y. Then when the light catches it differently, you can see it definitely more pink. Love these so much. I feel again like they give that ethereal glow, that sheen. It makes it look like your like your skin is glowing rather than you're wearing a highlighter. So that's the Pillow Talk Dreams eyeshadow palette. I haven't primed the lids. I'm gonna go in with this shade here on a fluffy brush. I barely dipped the brush into the eyeshadow so that is still just the one shade I've applied it like in the crease and then whatever's left on the brush I'm kind of feathering it out like I'd wear that shade on its own now my eye looks really green as I've had eyes I am feathering this out quite high well high enough for me because I want when I look up for you to be able to see the um, the shadow and I'm going to just take a pencil brush with that same colour bring it under the oh my god that's so much please trust me when I say you barely need to tap the brush into that it's funny like whenever you do an eyeshadow look like this you end up using loads of brushes because you just want to make sure that you're um, using clean brushes to blend out the edges now I'm going to swatch the two shades here because I just want to see what they're like um, to see what one will go on my eyelid so I just want you to be able to see it too Oh my god, they're so nice. Let's do this one on this eye. Oh my god, I'm literally, I'm watching my eye colour just get enhanced so much. That is so nice. I find that these eyeshadows um, do, like the, the shimmery ones do go on better with a the finger. There is much less fallout. So... What's your favourite? I think this is my favourite. Let me look properly. I'm going to take a really small pencil brush with this shade. Probably too much. Just to focus it on the outer corner. Just to smoke everything out a little bit. And I like to just... I like to create like a little V. I'm going to take the Pillow Talk eyeliner as well. Wait till you see this. Love Charlotte's pencil liners. And I'm going to bring it on the waterline. That you can see. I feel like this just ties the look together. Really beautiful burgundy eyeliner that you can use either on the waterline or as a regular liner kind of on your lid. Um, I'm just using it here for now because I just, because I've hooded eyes, I tend not to wear eyeliner on my lids that much. Sometimes it can get lost. You know when you spend ages, as a hooded eye person, you can spend ages putting all your eyeshadow on, then you put this on, then when you open your eye, you can't see anything. Okay, I'm sorry that I keep playing with the camera settings. I just want you to be able to see this in its true form, like everything. So we have like the two different eyes. They're quite similar, but just with that shimmer on the lid, those are the only differences. Um, love the mascara so much. Love this. So this blush, FYI, it's 
like quite a tacky kind of wet blush what you can do with it is I'd love to kind of keep this in my bag so if I did need to top up um, or you could set it with the powder blush but I really like this finish I like the glow that it gives it's like the juice to my cheeks famous pillow talk lipstick which I've gone through so many of those but I want to show I want to have a look at the pillow talk lip luster oh yeah I have tried this before I couldn't remember if I had so at the moment I have this on the lips I'm going to take it off really quickly these lip lusters are really comfortable to wear on the lips they're really kind of thick and unctuous tiny little doe foot applicator they're like a proper liquid lipstick like quite creamy quite opaque you have like that bit of tackiness to it but it's not too slippy it's not too tacky i feel like i'm pillow talked out i feel like i need to apply a little bit more of this blush when you see i'll be editing this later and i'll be like why are you just keep applying so much blush like in the camera settings it looks quite washed out so i want you to be able to see it properly in real life i have a lot of makeup on <laughs> If you want to buy any of these products I will leave them linked in the description box below but do you know what Char Tilbury what started as one lip product like one you know remember the lip cheap pillow talk like back in the day has turned into this whole family am full of stunning products I think they're products that would suit all ages all skin tones skin types I'd love to know as well what pillow talk product have you tried what's your favorite what do you want to try let me know in the comments below thanks a million for watching and I will see you in my next video okay bye